So we're ready to uh, look at the actual content in the class. So this uh, welcome module here, uh, you can scroll past it is fine and get to week one. You can also minimize any of these. You could collapse them all at one time right there. And we're going to look at week one. And there are midterms. Um, I will talk about them uh, in week five. Uh, the midterm is actually taken in week six. Um, we're going to prepare for it during week five, and you'll take that on campus in the tutor center. And if you can't take it, um, or sorry, the testing center on campus, if you can't take it uh, on campus, then you can email me and we can make arrangements uh, for you to take it somewhere else. Okay, every week is the same, except there's different content each week, but each week has uh, lectures and uh, here you present any homework solution that you want. Um, I just want to see how your writing is, how your writing at math looks. Uh, if you have, if you're stuck on homeworks, so you can ask here in the forum for homework help. Uh, here are the recorded lectures. I, most students will probably want to watch the uh, lectures before doing the homework problems. So I, most of you probably want to start here at the lectures. Uh, in week one, we, there's an extra one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting. Uh, I do want to uh, meet you, make sure that Zoom is working, and also uh, see if you have any concerns about the class. And you can click here. You can also uh, connect during my Zoom office hours. So Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and Saturday. Uh, so I have different office hours. If those don't work for you, you can email me. We can arrange a time um, either in the morning or the evening. All right, so what happens in a week? Uh, there is sections. So the first week has 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Inside of each of these, it's basically the same five things. Uh, learning objectives, you probably don't need to read those if you don't want to. This thing that says read, that's just a link to the textbook. Uh, you could use that, uh, or if you download the PDF, you can just open up the PDF and read that. Here's videos here where it says view. Um, I didn't write, uh, create these videos, but in the future, probably starting in week two, uh, all the videos will be mine. And exercises and quiz. These are the two uh, assignments that are for points. You can also see there's a certain number of points right here. So anything that says points is for a grade. It also means your weekly forums are graded as well. Uh, they're graded for participation. All right, we're gonna look at the exercises really quick. And I'm gonna open this in a new tab. All right, so I use my open math for all the homeworks and quizzes. And yours will say start, uh, but this does tell you how many points. The number of points is the number of questions. Uh, everything is due Monday night uh, before midnight of the following week. So this will tell you uh, quickly all the questions and how you're doing on them. Uh, let's see, I'll just jump to list of zeros. All right, so these are all the X values that this is zero. Um, I will go over these in the lectures, so I don't want to lecture here, uh, but one of them's zero, when X is zero, this will be a solution, uh, or a zero here. All right, I got partial credit. I only got one of the two. Uh, the other zero is when this right here, this X value makes six times that number minus seven equal to zero. Uh, that is seven sixth. So I'll type that in there, submit. And notice I have a 0 0.5 out of one point here. When I hit submit, now I have one out of one. All right, I did that very quick. I'll do it much slower in lectures, I promise. Uh, all right, so that is uh, how to answer questions. You can quickly look up here and see which questions you still need to work on. Uh, you, they're mostly intended to go in order. You do not have to go in order if you don't want to. It's up to you. You get 99 tries on each uh, question, so I can try it again 98 times. All right, that's how the exercises work. The uh, assignments don't work well if you have two open at the same time. So make sure when you're done and you're ready for the next homework set, you close this tab um, or exit out the homework set. 
So let's look at the quiz now. Each section has an exercise and a quiz. Exercise, quiz, exercise, quiz, and test. So there's only one test covers all three uh, material from all the quizzes of the week. So let's look at quiz 1.2. So this one is very different. The tests work the same way, but on the test you only have one try. So on the quiz, eight points means there's only eight questions. And it also do Monday midnight. You can take this assessment, take this quiz 100 times. I don't recommend you take it more than three or four. Uh, if you get a really good score your first time, you can stop after one try. Uh, I do recommend you try it more than once if you uh, didn't get the grade you were looking for. Uh, there is a time limit, and when I hit start, it's going to pop up a message and tell you as a time limit, are you ready to start? Make sure you have that amount of time. Um, if, you're, and if the internet is not working well, it's probably not a good time to start the quiz because it will uh, disconnect. Uh, if your internet shuts down, um, the quiz won't submit properly. So make sure um, you're ready to take it. All the questions are uh, here on one page. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see question one, question two, question three, etc., through number eight. Um, I will add more time for this one. This one's pretty tricky. All right, and you go through, and when you are done, uh, you need to hit submit and end at the bottom. Uh, that will uh, submit that. Your number of minutes remaining is here. Uh, if you do have to leave unexpectedly, you can always hit submit and end early. You do have 98 more tries on this. Um, it's going to warn you, you have unattempted questions. Okay. Uh, here is your score. You can review the questions as well. All right. You could retake it here, but you probably want to go back and um, make sure you're ready on the homeworks, that you've done enough of the homeworks in section 1.1, so you're ready for the quiz. So if you start a quiz and it looks crazy, just submit it, close it, and go back to the uh, exercises for that uh, section. So that's what I recommend you do. Uh, instead of just sit there and struggle with a quiz, just submit it. It only keeps your highest score. So it's only going to keep your score on the quiz attempt that you get your highest score on. It's not going to keep your zero as long as you take it again. All right, exercise, quiz, exercise, quiz, exercise, quiz, and then test. So we're going to look at the test now. The test is similar to a quiz, but there's one really big difference. There's more questions usually, so 11 points. I give you more time because I don't want you to get cut off uh, for um, running out of time. Now, there's one attempt. It doesn't actually say how many attempts here. It's because there's only one attempt. Uh, so you have one attempt at the test. It's still going to pop up the warning message, uh, but it's just warning you it has a time limit. And make sure you're really ready for this because uh, you do only get one shot at it. It's going to look just like the quiz, except uh, a couple more questions, more time to turn it in. And your, your time is always going to be listed right up here. All right, so I am going to submit and get a very bad grade on this. All right, so that takes you through week one. Uh, every other week is the same, and we'll talk about the midterm and uh, final exam as those dates approach.